Well, here we are, again, in the Palouse, <laughs> again, <laughs> and uh, we're having a good time, and we mm -hmm. <laughs> feel like uh, the Santa Claus with the big sled, because if you're kind of like, at the back of our car has everything you can imagine it, <laughs> but uh, I wanted to take a moment and talk about a system that doesn't get a lot of talk about these days. Mm -hmm. We hear a lot about the new Sonys, all the new things that are mm -hmm. happening, and yes, there are a lot of cool things happening, but there is a company that has figured it out, done it, and delivered it. And with the most recent introduction of the latest two lenses, Olympus, in my opinion, has finally completed what I think is one of the best compact camera systems there are. Mm -hmm. Limitations, micro four thirds, which means you're not going to be getting anything more than say a 16 megapixel file, right. capable of maybe going up, I've done 17 by 22 without any issue. Sure. But for a lot of photographers that are looking to take the load off their back, the Olympus with the Pro Lens lineup is incredible. So let me show you what the newest one is and let you take a look because I think this is a magic lens. Mm -hmm. This is the new 8mm Pro Lens. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that they've done so well is just design their lenses. It feels metal, it's designed well, the lens caps snap on. I mean even just the, the way this lens cap snaps on. Mm -hmm. Like the lens hood, I, I didn't bring the big zoom lens with me. But Olympus always did good lens cap. <clears throat> <laughs> we have a, a report on the site about uh, their 40 to 150 lens, but this mm -hmm. is just tremendous. So now you've got 8 millimeters, 7 to 14. We've got the uh, 12 to 40 here and the 40 to 150 and a tele-extender. Mm -hmm. And this is the EM52 I have on. Take a look at that. What I And while you're looking, let me say a couple things about it. I think they've engineered this camera superbly well. Mm, I know. They're, the, Olympus <clears throat> has always gotten the photographer's interface prop properly done. Yeah, no, this this has a lovely feel, and it's a fully articulated LCD. Touch. Forward, back. It's a touch. Wonderful. Touch screen. Buttons for everything, custom buttons. There's, there's a lot to like here, and it feels like it's made out of unobtainium. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's just so, it's not super heavy, but it's rugged. It's rugged. It feels like it's built really, really well. Yeah. And it's got full capability. Um, beautiful uh, video that can come out of it. Uh, Chris actually likes this new camera to, to do video. He's worked quite a bit with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just astounding. But look at this 8 millimeter. Look at the beauty, the way it kind of just curves yeah. the field. Look. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it... it <laughs> it does a great job. You now, put on some weight, Kev. Yeah, this Sorry. lens is not. This <laughs> lens is not enhancing. <laughs> um, the the uh, seven to fourteen, uh, which is the pro lens, and there's been a seven to fourteen Panasonic lens, which I've been using up to this point. Mm -hmm. uh, push pull. All their lenses are continuous push pull, so every one of the lenses is consistent. So you know when you feel a lens, you you've got uh, the the ability to know that it's got a push pull for. Uh, uh, focus and zoom and uh, just I, smoothly I think it's operating. interesting Sony is now going to that design yep. a front ring that's push pull for focusing and ma manual and auto focusing and uh, again I, uh, Olympus has had this for a while and it's a really intuitive design but look at this glass this is a 7 to 14 I mean mm -hmm. can you imagine what it takes to put a piece of glass like that together can yep. you, you see the curvature of that now this could make putting filters on uh, somewhat difficult because there is no screw and filter when you have a uh, glass that protrudes like this. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is there's a customized function button on every one of their lenses so you can customize it. I think it's a camera that has matured to its age. Mm -hmm. And unlike a lot of the camera makers these days that are going mirrorless that are end up making big lenses, yep. Olympus has done a good job to keep the lenses small, compact, and well built. That is the interesting side of Micro Four Thirds. Right now, we're limited to less than 20 megapixels. The bodies are about the same size as, for example, Sony's full-frame 7 Series cameras, but you can't get around the laws of physics. No. And full-frame lenses are full-frame lenses, and the only thing you can do to make them smaller is to make them slower. Yep. What the advantage, I think, that Olympus and Panasonic, you know, the Micro Four Thirds family, is they produce fabulous lenses, and because it's a 2x factor over full frame, the lenses can be significantly smaller. Correct. Now, let me also say something about the Pro lenses, and specifically because there's always been a lot of talk about putting the older Olympus lenses on through adapters and slow focus and everything. 
these pro lenses focus so quick. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think they're probably the fastest, if there was a way to measure it, mm -hmm. probably one of the fastest focusing lenses out there really? on AF of any camera there is. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody realized we haven't forgotten you, Olympus. You've got the system. You cover the range. Here, hold this for me. Okay. Now, I don't have the uh, 40 to 150 lens with me, mm -hmm. but imagine this camera, these two lenses in the 40 to 150, mm -hmm. you could put this in such a small camera bag. Absolutely. Use a tele extender and have a very lightweight. I mean, these things are light. This whole thing yeah. can't weigh more than five, six pounds. Yep. And for the capability. Oh, less. Less. Probably. Yeah. I, I, I'll, you'll see in the article, I'll actually weigh it because I have a nice scale now. I'm weighing everything so we can make a nice comparison yeah. chart. But uh, we'll definitely do that. Makes a great system. And uh, I'm really, really enthused by it. Light, this. but really solid. Correct. Yeah. I don't right. get to play with this much anymore because it's now Deborah's camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's taken she over. She let the, you take it on the trip. <laughs> she was quite upset. I said, well, we're going to take a picture of while I'm gone. But you never know. Bottom line is, I have, a, I have a wife who is a fabulous photographer, and this is her camera. Mm -hmm. She makes this thing sing. The images coming off it are beautiful. Everything would function. Bottom line is we love it. Don't forget that it's out here. The Olympus makes a great line. And for those of our readers that are looking for something light, capable, and you're not going to go much larger than 1722, mm -hmm. consider this is probably the finest system. I think they've done what they've had to do, and they've mm -hmm. gotten it finished. They do tell me there is one fixed long lens coming, mm -hmm. which I believe will be a 300 millimeter, which would be approximately like a 600, 600, mi yeah. 600 millimeter length. Right. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Cool. Thanks. We'll see you on the Loomless Landscape.